Hi everyone and welcome to the Fox 56 Sports Show driven by Toyota. I'm Erin Dugan. We have a great show for you tonight. Our sports crew is headed to Lock Haven University this weekend to bring you some live college football as the Bald Eagles take on Millersville. Bob Ide brings us a preview of this PSAC East matchup. We also feature the Holy Cross girls cross country team. After finishing fourth in the state in Hershey last year, they have their sights set on getting right back there. You'll meet Wyoming Valley West standout Sean Judge off the field in our Get to Know segment and see what the Lake Lehman cheerleaders are all about. Finally, a performance from the Lackawanna Trail marching band, a lot of talent from a small school. Let's start things out this week with the preview of this weekend's live college football game on MyTV, WQMY. Here's Bob Ide. In his second year as the coach of Lock Haven University, Dave Tainer is looking for progress in rebuilding the Bald Eagles. While the wins are not there yet, the process of building a championship caliber team has started. So if you take a look at Lock Haven University, the last winning season was 1981. So there is there's a big cultural change that has to happen and that doesn't happen because you, you say poof and it happens. That takes, that takes time. Uh, we also have to do a great job of, of building support for the program because in the PSAC, um, PSAC, it's the reality is there's a lot of haves and have nots and at this point in time as far as the total general support that we have is something that we've got to grow uh, to put ourselves in a competitive competitive situation. Um, it's, it, it is where we're at and the truth is I think we can be very competitive with where we're at and we want to do that on a consistent basis. It's a collaborative, holistic effort across the whole board. Yeah, I mean he, in, he instills our culture, our new culture that we're trying to install here. I mean every meeting that we have with them. Um, so I mean it, it, it's in the process, it's starting right now. Uh, just the guys on the field, we just got to play. Um, you know guys freshman year, it's just they're just here to be here. Mm -hmm. Guys here now want to be here. They want, they want to win. They want to work hard. They have it, you know. They have it all, all at their fingertips. You know, they just got to grab a hold of it and run with it. Lucky for Lockhaven, quarterback Caleb Walton is playing every game like it's his last. The redshirt senior is two touchdown completions short of breaking the school record of 60. His second all-time in career passing yards, and this year has thrown for over 400 plus yards in two games. We well, you know this offense is good for any quarterback who likes to throw, make decisions quickly. Um, you know, and it, it, Coach T makes it really simple for me. Just do my job. You know, don't worry about making checks. A lot of checks up at the line. Um, you know, he just wants me to do my job. And if everyone does their single job, then I mean, it's hard to stop us. But that's just been um, something we always have had to overcome so far this season. Caleb has, you know, done a a good job in managing the game and um, you know he's had like what we're working on we've thrown for over 300 yards in four of the five games um, and he's had two two uh, 400 yard performances and one that was real close against Clarion um, and we have two decision make de decision based turnovers um, you know one of our goals is to eliminate those completely we've got two and, and two in five games um, so I'd like to see him to completely eliminate those but you know they happened last year, we were over 10. Um, so we've made some progress in that area. Um, he's got to continue to do it, but I mean, he makes some great decisions, gets the ball out of his hands quickly, which has helped us uh, limit the overall uh, times that he's taken hits to um, in the game because we're, we're throwing a lot with him. Uh, so, but I think he's doing a great job on that end. The wide receivers are doing their part and the running game is coming together to work on a balanced offense. But with a hurry-up tempo philosophy, the Bald Eagles feel they can play better. I mean, we we try to run the ball all the time at practice, all the time during the games. Um, but you know, if something's not in a, not working, we're not going to stick with that. You, you're going to go with what's working, what's being successful. So I think that's that's what's led us to throwing the ball a lot more. 50-50, 55-45. You know, that's what you want. We've had some, some big individual performances on the offensive side of the football. We need to be a little bit more consistent overall as a team. You know, I, I, Sean Seif uh, right now leads the, leads the country, I think, in receiving at the Division II level. Um, so he's done, a, he's done a, a great job as far as running routes and creating space and separation. Um, Delvon Dennis at tight end has been a receiving threat that's, that's developed a little bit this year um, into a consistent threat. I think he's had a couple hundred yard games. Um, he's got over 300 yards receiving or over 400 yards receiving at this point in time in the year. 
Defensively, Lockhaven is starting to come together. Senior transfer Kevin Chappell is fifth in the PSAC in total tackles and tackles for loss, while Isaiah Flamer is fourth in the league in interceptions. If the Bald Eagles are to put some wins together in the last half of the season, it's the defense that's going to do it. One thing we had to do better on the defensive side is really understanding what type of scheme schematic we're running, understanding good football and bad football. We have to understand that we have to spill, don't create a vertical run scene for the running back. We have to make the running back bounce from A gap to B gap to C gap individually to sideline, have the Mike linebacker or whoever is a backside linebacker flow and make the tackles and everybody has to play fast. One of the highlights of the season has been the play of the underclassmen. We're playing playing cons uh, a ton of freshmen right now, you know, from you know, I was kind of focused there a little bit on the defensive side, but looking at the on the defensive side of the football, you know, Destin Woody, Fernando Flores, Noah Rainbow, Douglas, Christian Martyr, um, Elijah McBride, uh, Shaheen Brown have all been guys as freshmen that have, and I may have even missed one, that have started games and played a lion's share of repetitions throughout the year. So uh, a lot of those guys are, are, are playing a lot of reps. Uh, so they're, they're improving, you know, week in and week out. The talent's here. We brought in a very talented freshman class. Now they need to learn college football and they need to get together with the speed and the strength. Um, they, need, they need to put in a solid, a very solid off season and come back very, very strong next year. But you know, the, the talent is here. It's just guys got to learn and, and make plays. Lockhaven will hit the road three of the last four games this season with trips to Kutztown, East Stroudsburg, and Mercyhurst. Their only home game is against Bloomsburg. Coming up next, we'll talk with the Holy Cross girls cross country team. Such a positive impact on our team, like we really...